It is that time of the year! Hello, Internet! And I'm not talking about Christmas. I'm talking about new units and lolly your feed. Oh! Regardless of it, we finally have some new units. It's been so long. It's pretty stale, the game, recently. There's no new game modes. There's not even a lot of new units, I feel. Maybe it's just me. Maybe time just goes too slow and I'm not doing anything. But finally, they got us new stuff and we have the new stuff conqueror lilius if you've been watching my videos and you've been paying attention you probably would tell that i use flan way too much to be healthy about it but today we're not gonna use her we're going to use lilius but with flan gears 302 speed conqueror lilius there's no immunity i could do immunity but it would be 295 now so i dude, why am i gonna use immunity if i'm gonna outspeed you anyway we got border coin too because of the speed 8.5% and effect can stack up to 3 times. Her S3 is a non-attack skill, and her S2 is a non-attack skill. And how it works is she will S3 first, grants herself an extra turn, and then do S2. That's how it will usually work. So it's 2 non-attack skill back to back, and with border coin, you basically proc it twice. After proccing her border coin twice, I think you'll get... I'm not sure how this is uh, this is how it's supposed to calculate, but I think you should get about 20 more speed, I think. So here is what I'm thinking. Lilius, her S3 is a non-attack skill. We decrease our buff duration by one, which basically means we get rid of their immunity. And then we get to do S2, which redirect provokes, and you know, S3 also gets debuffs off. So the idea is to just use S3, S2, and then land the S2 on the quickest unit on their end. So probably the flan, either the flan or the AOL. Because we have redirected to provoke, they have to hit, you know, the, the unit with the highest HP, which is an Alilis. And it will proc the passive on Fairy Tale Tenebria because someone with redirected to provoke hit our character. I don't actually know how this would work still, but, you know, the idea is basically in redirected to provoke, we proc Fairy Tale Tenebria, and Pavel would end everything. So, yeah, we, I don't know how this would work yet, but I think this might fail, though. It depends how quick the flan is. Okay, that's perfect. If the flan was faster, I would be forced to hit the redirected to provoke. A reader to provoke on flat, and that would be bad because AOL would get to do things, right? But right now, AOL is faster, and they all do not have immunity, so I mean, we're just gonna do it anyway. Well, what K Ron has immunity, but usually when you're higher up, everyone has immunity. But there we go, we strip everyone, and that's perfect. We got Vigor as well, so it's like a you know, a pseudo attack buff here. And Milim here is gonna go ham, <laughs> she's gonna have a tap off and Vigor if she gets to like punch anyone. And now we get to do another non attack skill like this, and by doing so, we get the return for vote, we get the barrier, that's great. We also get double proc from Border Coin, and I Sort of miscalculated. I was thinking that AOL would take the turn before power, but that was way too quick. It's okay though, we'll, we'll still just kill them, and boom. This would, you know, get rid of one debuff, but there is another, and there we go. That thing is still there, right? And now we kill this. She doesn't even get to, like, cut me somehow, but, you know, this, this is not, like, the best of, like, um, showcase of this, but whatever. We can still do this. Fairy Tale Taniba can still get the turn here, and we get to get even more Return to Provoke on, and look at that. Too many divas for you to even deal with, uh, Angel of Light. There we go. Get wrecked. And now we have a tap buff and vigor. So if we hit this, we get to see, like, bad damage. There we go. And we did, we, we did like, you know, almost 19k. That's, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I kind of just end the fight in, like, 20 seconds, so it'll look pretty quick. Now, do note that I'm pretty sure I'll lose this, but I'm just curious as to what would happen if this would work. You don't do debuff comps into this, but I'm just gonna try for the sake of it. And then this is weakness. If there is one, it's probably these two together. And if they are together, then Jesus Christ. And Alina is just a calculator for any unit with AoE or any unit with debuff, so not the best matchup for this at all. We're still gonna try it out. The idea here is to do non-attack skill. We proc this on Politis. And because we did S3 with Lilius, we get another turn. We do S2 to provoke on Politis. Politis right now have cut in front. She should take a turn. And the moment she takes a turn with Reader to provoke, we're gonna get our F10 to proc that thing. F10A's passive is an AoE, which means if I proc the AoE, I proc as well serious passive. And because F10 is also an AoE, that means we also proc the enemy Angel Light's non-attack skill, which procs our politics's passive as well. It's like a domino. Is it called a domino where you push one block down and every single block just falls apart? It's gonna be pretty fun. It will all end in like a turn. But there we go. And the fastest on their end is Alina, which... Wait, no, it's not. It's AOL. That's actually okay. I'm hoping that their politics do not cut the AOL. That way I can provoke the AOL instead, but we'll see. We'll do this first, and this is like, not an attack skill, that means that Violet's gonna get the attack down no matter what. 
which doesn't really matter because, you know, it, it kind of cleanses debuffs anyway. But here we go. We do that. This would go. And oh, shit. It's still okay, though. Believe it or not, it's still okay. But I just have to be smart. Now, their pulses is slower than AOL. I know that. So all I have to do is to provoke AOL because she's the fastest. There we go. Oh, wait. I push her back, too. I've done some miscalculations. I forgot she pushes her back. I, I, I'll read the skill. Oh, God, I should have done this, like, way earlier, don't I? I need to land a bomb on Politus. Well, not really Polit. Yes, I need to land a bomb on Politus and Alina, especially Alina. Come on. Land it on both. Boom. We don't the first time. We got a lot of chance left to really do it, really. Just do this. Bomb. There we go. There's the bomb. I get the sword again. We bomb again. Come on. No bombs this time. Oh, what a shame. And we have to we have to just let it rip. And by doing this, their ALL should take the turn. Their ALL taking the turn, that means that reader to provoke is gonna hit on us. Whatever. Wait, I forgot about this. Ah oh, shit. Wait. Uh, there's so many things going on. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> and this too! Holy shit! And there's the bomb and there's the the, the skill now or whatever. This would go. It's reader to provoke. And we broke our hands today that way. And there we go. We stunned their Paul. Dude. Jesus! Now we let it rip with this, but there Alina will get to take a turn, and now it's gonna be Violet versus the world again. And boom, there we go. That should kill most of them. I don't I don't even know how to commentate on this. There's just way too many things that's going on. But we landed, you know, Pontus landed in unbuffable on a lot of them, so. Yeah, they don't even get to do shit. And this will dual attack, by the way. There we go, there's a dual attack. The best dual attack target here would be Cecilia, so we get, you know, a lot of chances to do the bombs. And there's no bombs this time. This will counter it. It's definitely gonna miss. It's not gonna, like, not miss. Now, I could do S3, but there's no reason to. I'll just do S2. Because, you know, this thing has freaking... Okay, that's not good. Oh, man. It's probably gonna be a violent solo. <laughs> it's always a violent solo. What am I talking about? We are potentially still okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are. We are, we are, we are. We just do this. Just touch violet as little as possible. We go. Who cares? It's okay. Violet is stuck hitting Emilius. We are fine. Oh, we just hit you. Come on, just hit it. Boom. Oh, dude, Violet is. <laughs> you crit me. Of course you do. Come on, just bomb him. Bomb him. There we go. That's the bomb. He counters me. As long as they don't crit me, we're fine. There we go. We have the bomb now. Now we can do this. I'm not sure if I want to, but yeah. Starting from now, Conquer Lilius would have three stacks of border coins, so she would be just really quick. It's probably like a plus 30 speed on her, so she's like 330 speed, maybe? We can probably lock the Violet down already. I can just do this, but it's probably gonna get cleansed out by freaking Alina anyway, huh? Yeah, I ha I still have to do it. I have to do this on Violet. So we get that, and uh, this would cleanse off. Not the bomb. There we go. Not the bomb. Now I can do this. If I landed on the bomb, we'd be in... We would be golden if I landed on the bomb. So I hope I do. There we go. Come on. And the bomb. There we go with the bomb. And we also hit him too. That's perfect. All right. I don't really find a letter rip right now. Actually, I do. Yes. Let it rip right now. This is like... I, I, I didn't expect this. But pretty much this is just full CC count right now. Boom. And that's gonna... Wait. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah. Note to self. Do not CC Alina. <laughs> well, she's, she's still gonna get stunned though. If we hit him a couple of times, we'll be great. Just, just a couple of times. Probably should have done this three there. I don't know, but yeah, there we go. She is quick, Jesus. Just, just, just running around in laps. There we go. We landed. Uh, decrease attack. That's okay. So now I'm, ha I'll have to figure this out. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna pull this out. I'll just s one. Just finish it like real quick. And we do. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't deserve it. I still think I'll lose though. Unless I literally run laps around her. I have to lap her so many times. And that's the only way. And she's counter. Okay, there's no way she's counter. It's a good unit. It's not broken like someone. Freaking Bellion. It's balanced. There's counters to her. With Bellion, there's just no counter. It's a dumb unit. The counters even die to her anyway. It's a dumbass unit. Right now, Alina's like direct counter to Lilius. She just cucks her so much. There's just so many ways to use her. I'm overwhelmed with choices right now. I could run, see, any, I could anything right now. I could anything. But I'll still try this. This seems to be the funnest way to do this. Great, we'll try this. Let's go. It might not work though. This is really toxic after all. We don't get to Sovereign. We haven't even used Conqueror Lilius to Sovereign at all really, but eh, it's okay. There's no beauty on their end, which is pretty weird, but we're still gonna do this. That's, uh, you know, if we do this, that means 
Their AOL is probably not gonna cleanse off the right thing, hopefully. I think it's like a random... It's pretty random though, I feel like. But what I'll do, I'll do right now, it's this. And boom, get that. We do the provoke, push her back as well. That push back is kind of like weird though. I was thinking to like, you know, we do provoke the fastest unit and instantly destroy them. Right now, we're gonna despell everyone. We could just do this. We get we do provoke on everyone. And now they have like a 50-50 chance to cleanse off we do the provoke. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Maybe it's not. This would counter me. It's annoying as hell. But it's okay. We do this as well. So even more debuff on freaking AOL's end. She will have to be luck sacking me so hard to cleanse off the right thing on the get-go. And there we go. We get the bombs as well. And this would go. It does not prop my passive because it already it already happened. Now I can bomb again the you. Bomb this again. Boom. We get the bomb. Jesus Christ, I'm lucky as hell. Now we do this. That Rem is dead, should be, and that AOL is probably close to death. And if not, Landy should take care of the rest. Unless this kills my entire team, which is does not. That's a pretty weak. Oh, of, of course, Violet. Wait, what? That's bullshit. That is, that's just Violet being bullshit. <laughs> I mean, don't matter, we still kill, but that's just Violet being absolute bullshit, by the way. He crit on Cecilia, that's why she died, and when she died, Rem got the demon mode, that's why she didn't die. Ah, oh, that's so dumb, bro. All right, now we're forcing this to be an absolute headache. Go, and yeah, dual attack with freaking Landy every single time. That's gonna be annoying. And if you land decrease it exactly, if you land that, I'll probably lose. I kind of have to do this. Do I have to think? I do not have any skills, but I have to do this. If I do the S3, don't matter, I'll miss anyway. I have to save it well. Boom, this would go. And hopefully we get- There we go, we do get- We do get it! Now we can do this. Get your ass back. There we go, boom. We do the provoke, we're forced to hit Lilius. Now I get to just let it rip against you. If you evade this, I've got symbol unity on. If you evade this, and if you evade my S1 later, then I'll probably lose. Which, if you, if you do all of that, then touche, bro, you win. I do have S3 though. This would get attack down for him. Yo, that's pretty good. Be oh, I got some people from Landy. Dude, Lilith right now is, is insanely quick. That's for sure. But there we go. We got them finally. Yo! Landy and freaking Lilith. That that's a that's a comp right there. We'll try something like this. This might still fail. I feel like there's actually a high chance of it, but we're just, we're just gonna go. It's fun because the amount of passive you proc is just so much. It's it's pretty fun. It, is. <laughs> it does take skill to use her though. You have to know what everything procs first, what everything procs later, what causes this other thing to proc. You have to know all of that for you to like master her, which isn't really a problem if you've been playing for a long time. But for newer players out there, yeah, it might not be that easy. I guess this has to kind of just lock one guy down, so we could we could lock Celine down. So this is probably the most annoying one here. Now I get to do this. We get really provoke on everyone, which sort of make me wonder why would I even Lilius right now? <laughs> but boom. But I mean the synergy is there though. You can't deny that. And we landed the bomb on uh, Celine, so she's already dead. <laughs> All right, I need to just be careful not to kill the RB. If I can do that, things will be fine. Can just do this, boom. Land more bombs on that thing. That's the most annoying thing anyway. Now we do this, land one more bomb on this. Ah, oh, perfect. Now off you go. I just realized if I don't kill uh, Rem here, she gets freaking demon mode, which isn't good. Counter attack, that's annoying, but I mean, they always do. But we get this to the, the amount of passive, man. And the, oh, I always forget the bomb. Oh, shit. Do I survive? I survive with one. Do we? Can we pull this back? Can we pull this back? <laughs> what is this, dude? We might actually pull this back. It depends on Lilius. It all depends on you, Lilius. Okay, that that's it. That's it, Lilius. That's how you do it, Lilius. Come on, crit. You can crit. <laughs> that's Lilius, baby. The dual attacker and dual attacks instead. Oh, and we go from stranger to just mad. We'll try her out in the uh, RTA. I'm actually hyped. This is actually something I need in my team that I could use. So I'm actually pretty uh, excited. That was Conquer Lilius. This is a build and I can't tell you what the best build is yet. I honestly don't, but I feel like she needs speed. Maybe not as much as this, but she could be slower, maybe 260. And with a lot more bulk to 60 speed, and then with border coin, probably the best one for her. Uh, for her, if you're running like a max speed one, I actually think you might want to do um, pure white trust just to get a speed buff, 
So right away, you get to like lap two or four times, right? But Border Coin on a longer fight is definitely better. Or if you have Landy in your team, definitely go Border Coin with Landy. You get a speed buff and you get this. So, you know, she'll be zooming. And if you're a Bruiser player or like, for like a Cleaver, crowd Control, it doesn't matter. She fits any team. She can't work anyway. <laughs> the idea I had was kind of bad though, because I kind of, I sort of wanted to like read her to provoke and then use F10A's passive to like, you know, get them to be debuffed even more. But this decreases 25% um, cooldown, kind of screws with that, but you know, it still works sometimes. There's a lot more things that you can do with her. I'm pretty excited to test them out. But yeah, that's all for today. If you want to enjoy subscribe to my channel. And yeah, good luck if you're trying to get her and good luck if you're trying to build her. And yeah, take care.